Dear Bosconians, here is another favorite place ninyo. Sige nga, guess nyo nga saan ito? Ito yung laging after break time eh. Yan. Okay? Alam nyo na kung nasaan? Sige nga, let's have a walk. Ha? Huh? Oh, alam nyo na to, hindi ba? No? Our school clinic. O, oh, di ba? Favorite yan, lalo-lalo na after break time. Di ba? After break time, imbis na pumunta sa line, dito sumusugod. Ang dami-dami nating mga excuses para maka-escape sa line. Dapat pupunta lang pala dito sa clinic. Pero alam nyo ba, it's not a joke to be sick. Especially now. And I know there are many of you Our Bosconians, our Bosconian families are probably sick now or have been sick, have experienced sickness, especially COVID. Do you know that we have another clinic with inside the campus? But this clinic is exclusively for Satishans. And it is called the Sati Clinic in honor of Blessed Artimite Sati. Because there are Salishans who are getting old and are also getting sick. Kaya dito sila pinapadala ng province. I make mention of this Sati Clinic because my own COVID story started here in this Sati Yes, you heard it right, not COVID-12. It was that August 29, when I was supposed to say Mass because it was a Sunday, doon the Sati clinic night. And I said, I was not feeling well. And I was 39.8. Added, mag-isolate na kayo. Don't worry about us, may mga ipapari pa naman po pwede maging sa amin. So I isolated myself in my room. I am now at the COVID isolation rooms in Makati. Well, this is my third day here. And uh, so far, I feel a bit better. Although may mga bagay pa na medyo maselan that I should be careful of. But with God's grace, with your help and prayers, we may survive. I remember when we were in seminary training, one thing that keeps entering my mind was uh, mental toughness. And then during these times of crisis, whether COVID, for other problems in life, kailangan po talaga natin to be tough. I hope with that toughness, I can pass this through. Thank you. Today is September 6. This is nothing really serious. I just had to lie down, be on my back, in order that my oxygen level will go higher, as my oxygen level is not according to standard. Whatever sufferings that I am enduring, I offer it for them, especially for those of our Bosconian families. 
malapit na si Bertie di Mama Mary. Kaya let's pray to Mama Mary. To see who is the mother of all the sick. To help us in this time to heal our wounds, our sicknesses, as well as our spiritual sicknesses. God bless us all. This is my sixth evening here at the Heart Event. And look at my new face mask. This is what saves me now. Because of this, my oxygen air or my oxygen oxygenization went higher. I can breathe better. Thanks be to God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Survivor, ilang days, uh, nine days, so, makatunod. Salamat sa mga health workers natin, mag-eating na nagpapagaling. This is the day the Lord has made. Sa wakas, tapos na ang 21 days of isolation ko from COVID. Thanks be to God, we survived. But hopefully, we should all be careful na hindi na tayo mahawa ng COVID. God bless, stay safe, stay healthy. Kaya po sa mga... May COVID ngayon, yun sa mga pagko-COVID, nakulun o sana hindi, pero who knows? I never knew I would have. Tatagan po ang loob natin. Huwag po tayo basta-basta na lang bibigay. Sabi nga nila, susuka, pero huwag susuko. Laban na. Pero as I said, hindi lang po pag may sakit, hindi po ako tayo. This applies for all critical times that we have in our lives that we should be tough. Resilient and tough. So to all Buskonians, Buskonian families and friends, stay strong. Stay safe, stay healthy, be home. God bless, good morning.